Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, made new highs yesterday, 1726.75 uh, in the pre-market. We backed off those, and they were never really tested again. The key right now is 1713. When we initially jumped on the Fed news, we jumped from uh, there, there. There were two hops. There was a hop from 95, 75, 96 area, immediately up to 1706. Then the next trade from 1706 was to 1713. I mean, we skipped those seven handles. Uh, at least anybody that you know is in some black pool somewhere that that we all wonder about. We've gone back down to test that first support level and we're finding support there. I thought it was minor support yesterday but it's starting to bear itself out overnight to be support. I am still in the camp that we need to go down and test 1705 so that uh, if the bulls want to take it higher they can get some footing at 1705 and understand that the old high is support or if that fails then the bears can say okay maybe we have put in a short term top and let's go ahead and make a run for this 38 percent retracement area down at 1687 and the 23 percent of the larger move uh, 1685 so 85 to 87 but for now the key is 13 so are we riding the upper Bollinger Band yes we've been riding it for four days if the Bollinger Band ride continues then two things have to happen you have to preserve the Thursday low which is 1713.25 big surprise and you need to reach back up for the upper band which is coming in today about 1728 so that would be a big day uh, for the bulls not a gigantic day but just you know just an up day so today is really the day that we see we have not made any new highs overnight we're not punching up through the band looking for new highs and making everybody nervous Today is really the first day after the Fed where we're going to see who is truly in control of the tape. Is it the bulls or is it the bears? Um, and the first clue to understanding the answer to that question is going to be 1713. If 1713 breaks, is tested as resistance and holds, I think that's a place you can get short with a couple handles stop above looking for, uh, looking for the 1705 area. If 1713 continues to hold, I think you need to be long. Uh, with a stop underneath looking for a reach back up to the Bollinger Band up around you know 26 to 28 so you know 13 is the key to the day everybody have a fantastic weekend Mike Bakke Princeton Trader follow us at Princeton Trader uh, on Twitter at Princeton Trader check out the website PrincetonTrader.com uh, come sign up for a free trial uh, for the website uh, for the for the chat room this weekend you know we were short 19s couple days ago uh, after the Fed news we added up at 25 and we wrote it for profits most of the day took a little bit of a long there at the end uh, we're flat now but you know we're in there trading every day trade a little gold yesterday so come check it out and see if we fit in with your trading if we can help you know that's why we're here everybody have a great day I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast trade them well